guys, what is going on? Crunchy here and welcome to another Road to Max progression video. So it's been about a week since our last episode was posted and that's pretty much how I'm probably gonna like upload these from now on once a week like I mentioned to you guys before just because it sort of gives me a little bit more time to gain some levels in between each one. So before I kick this video off I just wanted to like add something in. So I haven't really played for like a few days actually because like apart from this afternoon getting some clips on Runespan but I do apologise for like the amount of levels that aren't they're not really that great, I guess, in this video, as you guys might hope for. Uh, basically, my dog had to be put down the other day, so I'm kind of, like, in the morning stage for dogs, if you can get that. Um, but yeah, he was cool and a big part of this family, so it's kind of a bit tough at the moment. But regardless of that, I've come back to make this video for you guys, so hopefully you do enjoy it and it isn't really too disappointing in terms of the level gains but overall i did actually manage to get about 1.4 mil total experience since the last episode which is quite nice for me and as you can see i'm actually kicking off today with some slayer so i only did this for one level because i'm just trying to go back there sort of get back into pvm because i do miss it um, and i will definitely get back into slayer a lot more as well and use that to get some combat levels up and obviously my combat level as a total i will definitely be trying to get that up pretty soon as high as i can because like i said i do miss it it was a lot of fun to do and I missed the drops and stuff like that so I'll definitely be going back to that pretty soon. I just wanted to also like balance the video out I guess because obviously it's a lot of like skill based sort of things like non-combat skills and I do want to balance it out and equal it out to a bit of PVM and also a bit of skilling. So yeah level 56 in that now which is quite nice. The next skill I went for which I hope you guys are really happy about is Dungeoneering. Finally got around to trying this out and doing it for you guys because you guys keep wanting me to do this and I know that I haven't done it the whole time since playing RuneScape so this is completely new for me. The only levels I've got are through XP Lamp so what I'm going to do is just kick it off by telling you what levels I got and I'll talk about the skill a little bit after. So I went from level 6 to 31 which is obviously 25 which took a couple of hours. I was soloing it as you can tell I went by myself so to be honest it wasn't really too bad I just found it a bit of a difficult skill to sort of adjust to. You'll probably see how rubbish I am actually doing it, like changing between the different attack styles, stuff like that. But that's pretty much because I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't watch any guides. I just like took a swing at it and this is pretty much the outcome of it. Uh, so feel free to laugh and all that stuff, whatever. Yeah, like I said, the skill wasn't as fun as I thought it was gonna be. It was quite, I don't know, it was just quite the same thing all the time. And I know like woodcutting is stuff like that, but I don't know, it might have been just because I was constantly doing it for hours without a break, stuff like that. I only did manage to do it for a couple of hours before I just quit it, so you know, it wasn't, I didn't do it like too long, I didn't spend that much time doing it, maybe that's why I got a bit bored, I sort of just did it as a lump too quickly, and obviously I didn't get as much XP, it was quite slow, um, but I don't know, it was alright, but there's only like a certain amount, I guess I can cope with that time. I feel like it's one of them skills that you sort of, you like it or you don't, uh, most people I spoke to said they don't like it because it feels like a bit of a mini game. Uh, but I don't know, it was alright, it's just a bit random I guess with different bits like divination coming in there a bit, uh, different sort of skills coming in here and there. It does, I guess it does feel like a mini game in some way, uh, but yeah, it, I don't know, it's a different skill, I guess it was alright. Obviously if you guys do have any like opinions on it, feel free to let me know in the comments, just have a little discussion down there, anything like that. Also, if you guys missed my video that I actually posted, I think it wasn't my last video, it was one before that where I got the runic staff with the rune spam points. I mentioned that I'm thinking about also making a similar style video, not really a series, it might be like a mini series but it won't be anything like huge unless it turns like really successful or whatever uh, but just like a sort of similar style video I guess with dungeoneering instead of rune span so using the points or whatever you get rewarded with and basically just use them to buy up some cool items from the people outside dungeoneering but yeah I just think it'd be quite fun to like get some XP get some levels and also get a pretty cool item out of it as well so like I said just let me know if you have any items that you want me to get stuff like that if you think it's a good idea then yeah just let me know down below but like I said level 31 now on that is pretty cool and I also did complete a challenge doing this so that was also pretty nice to get the the next level I got is Hunter. I only gained like one level in this like I did for Slayer uh, just because I actually decided to throw it in this video because I got the skill and the level in the skill sorry uh, whilst making my previous video which was the money making guide. There'll be a link if you missed it at the end of the video and whatever um, but yeah just like a random level I got and it's pretty much just the same as my Slayer actually. It's 56 now so they match up which is pretty cool but yeah I just thought I'd chuck it in there just to sort of show you guys another level that I got just randomly. I wasn't like making the video to purposely get the level so it was quite nice just to have on the side. Yet another single level which I got was in crafting. I did try out the artisan's workshop as you'll see in the video as you guys have suggested it and I must say it's pretty decent. The XP isn't very good uh, but it's quite easy to do. Obviously you can just drop them all in noted. I did the iron ingots if you're wondering but you could probably tell that anyway. But yeah it was quite um, easy obviously just drop them all in and then just take them out. It's a lot, it saves a lot of time like banking stuff like that. You don't have to obviously run back. Uh, but yeah I think I was averaging about 40k an hour with this which isn't 
that great but regardless it is pretty afk so it's not really anything you can moan about and it's not really the worst thing to do either so do expect to see more of this pretty soon because you know like i said it's afk i can do it whilst i'm trying to work on editing a video or something like that i'll probably actually have it going whilst i'm editing this because it takes like a minute and a half or something like that just to do one invent so I don't know, I might do that and you'll probably see some more pretty soon. So the second to last skill, which as I've been doing a lot of, as you guys can tell, is runecrafting at runespan. Still really enjoying this and I believe the last progress video I actually had level 60 and I thought I got a lot higher than that so this is actually quite a lot of levels for me like in this one video and this skill alone. I got a total of 15 levels which isn't as great as the 25 in dungeoneering but from obviously a high level to an even higher level is pretty good for me so 15 levels on that, level 75 now which is pretty awesome to be honest and I'm not really aiming for like a specific level with this, the skill I'm just sort of doing it right now just whenever I get bored of doing something else or if I need something that's pretty AFKable. I don't know, I like I've already said, I do enjoy it and I haven't got bored of it yet, getting from obviously the lower levels in the previous videos up to 75. I'm still not bored of it. It's quite a lot of XP and quite a lot of time because obviously it's not the fastest, but yeah, I'm on the top floor now, as you can tell, which is very nice and I'm super happy with pretty much the progression on this skill so far. So there's not really much else I can sort of like cover when it comes to rune spam because I have mentioned it like so many times in previous videos. But one thing I will add in is the points like in the runic staff video, instead of going for the greater staff um, straight away, I might go for the cloak or the cape, whatever it's called, from the store first. So that's something I want to ask you guys. Do you reckon it's worth going for the greater staff first or going for the cape? I think the cape looks quite cool and that's why I want to go for it. But obviously the staff is a lot more useful. So just let me know what you guys think about it. I'm sort of like torn yet. I'm not completely decided. It doesn't really matter to me which one I go for first. Obviously it's down to you guys basically what you want to see. So just let me know because I'm pretty much happy with whatever. So yeah. And the final skill I got a level up in was woodcutting. I wasn't really woodcutting the elder trees for the whole time. Probably about a bag or two. Something like that. I was mainly doing ivies obviously because the faster XP rates. But I just wanted to make a little bit of money back from doing this which is why I switched the elder trees as I was about to hit the level. They do still like elder trees, they're pretty cool to do and of course they're AFK, pretty much like everything nowadays. But the last thing I want to put in this video is the rewards from the challenges I got. I don't think I actually really had many for this video actually, I've only got two recorded but I think I forgot to record a couple of them. Uh, but the ones I mentioned like dungeoneering I had before and I also got a runecrafting one which is also easy to hand in and get some extra experience from which is very nice and great as additional help. But yeah guys that pretty much wraps up this video for today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. I gained a total of 1.4 mil like I said at the beginning and a pretty big sum of 44 levels as well. So that pretty much tops out any of the episodes I've made so far. So hopefully you guys do enjoy it and found this video somewhat entertaining. If you did enjoy it and you know you like listening to it stuff like that don't forget to throw it a massive thumbs up because it always helps. Like always guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.